Hi everybody, I'm back and this is chapter 1.2, Simplify Expression of the AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. This is a grade C video, so if you can expect to get grade C if you know everything in this chapter. So we shall we get started? So there are only two things to learn. What is a like term? What do collect like term mean? Well, let's do what is a like term first. A like term is two uh, terms that have a same variable. What do I mean by that? Let's look at an example. 3a. This is a term. But what makes a term? Well, uh, we can see there is a 3 right there, which is a number. It has an absolute value. So this is 3. Um, poor arrow there, sorry. Um, and A. What is A then? It's not a value. Then what it is? Uh, or I should say it's not a number but it stores a value. What it is is um, <coughs> a variable. This, what it means it is it can contain different number but it can only store one at a time. Anyone who do computer science will find this simple, simple to uh, learn because that variable is basically the same as uh, the ones we use in programming. And so after that I still haven't explained what is a term. So a term is, you guessed it, a combined number and variable at the same time. So if I have a number which is 3 and a variable which is a then I have a term called 3a. This is a like term. Well this is a term. Then what is a like term? So a like term have I've said the same variable and for a variable we have a, b, C and A. Then what does that mean is that 3A and 4A goes well with each other. While 3B and 5C and sorry I uh, got uh, disrupted there so um, as I said 3A and 4A goes together in the group which is called a like term. 3B on the other hand isn't neither is three, uh, 5c. And note that 3b and 5c doesn't go well anyway, so these are three different groups, but group 1 have two terms in it, which, it, which in the group is a like term, and doesn't matter what the value in front of it is, it's basically a representation of how many of that term there are. So, uh, I should proceed. Um, before I leave, I should also note um, that if I were to have a number called 2a squared, then what group would that be? Now we know that a squared belongs to group a because it's a multiple of a, but in this case this 2a square will be a term 2 times a times a, which in terms wouldn't belong to this group. So what I mean by that is uh, this wouldn't be able to add or do any 
addition or multi uh, not multiple any addition or subtraction will not go with group A but any multiplication can happen between groups and of course division so yeah let's go to example questions so now we have question 1 2a plus 3b minus a minus c plus 5b minus 2c how should you simplify it well simplifying this means to collect the like terms and calculate them so what I could do is uh, this is a kind of a trick that I always use is to um, separate them using a line so what I do is 2a will be 1 3b will be 1 minus a will be 1 minus c will be 1 plus 5b will be 1 and at last minus 2c will be 1 so what does this achieve? well you will uh, find there will be a sign associated with the num uh, with the value behind it what does that mean is that instead of treating plus and minus as adding and subtracting you treat it as a negative number and a positive number how will that help well you will see it's a lot easier doing this way and now go to step one um, we have to identify the like terms so here we separate uh, separate all the terms we found a as one group b as one group and c as one group and they will be 2a and a 3b 5b and minus 2c and minus c or the other uh, the other way around this matter so what does that um, mean is that we can put them together now into bracket form which I um, purposely uh, pre-done it so that I don't need to type them all out and you add them together doesn't matter um, you don't you never might uh, you never subtract this because you have put brackets around it so this term you will see is negative and negative if a negative number minus well a negative number adds another negative number goes to a negative number so when you add a negative number it's also negative so that wouldn't affect the result but if you do subtract then it will change it to a positive which we don't want to and currently I think that's all that you need to do and just inside the bracket because you've collected all like terms only calculate numbers in the brackets using only the number part of the um, term which is I've said the number two so for this variable this is single variable what does that mean well this is negative a or we can say it's a negative one times a which is negative one a and that ultimately makes it um, a yeah so this is 2a minus a which is 1a plus 3b plus 5b which is 3 plus 5 8b then at last plus minus c minus 2c which is minus 3c and here I have the answer with a typo that I just spotted so need to remove it and guess add a 3 yep so typo does happen unfortunately and 
I'm not going to do it perfectly, but you know what this means now, because I've done it step by step, you know the answer must be true. And that is the first explanation. So in question 2, um, it's 3 bracket 2x plus y, then plus 5 bracket x minus 3y. The bracket means multiply, so what do you do now? Um, to do this, you first have to multiply the terms in the bracket with the number outside, which is basically just 3 times 2x plus y and 5 times x minus 3y and you do it for each term and I repeat it's each term inside the bracket and again I'll use the line that I use here and here so there are four terms in total so you should be getting four terms in return which I've found is 3 times 2x plus 3 times y plus 5 times x plus 5 times negative 3y which gives you 6x plus 3y plus 5x minus 3, uh, 15y so by the time you get to this step hopefully you will be able to do this straight forward and I'm not going to explain it again and Hopefully you'll get the answer, 11x minus 12y. So this is question 3. 18a squared b c to the power 4 over 6ab cubed c squared. How should we do this? So what is the first step? It is um, you should display the question in the easier f um, way, which is display all those number powers as a multiplica uh, multipli sorry, um, multiplication there we go and that will become something a bit well it looks a bit messy but it is definitely not messy 18aa b c c c c 6a B, 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 C, C. Sounds alright, really. <laughs> so what we have to do is, now I've got my pen out, to cross away useless things or repeated things, like this A can go away. And we found the B up here. Because this A doesn't have an A to pair with, it stays there. And these two B's doesn't have another B up there to pair with, so it stays again. That 2C can go for that 2C, and now we have basically equal trades, and what it's left is the numbers. What do we do with numbers? Well, as it's a fraction and it, uh, it can be uh, simplified, and hopefully in the last chapter, uh, chapter 1.1, .1, you have remembered how do you um, make a fraction into a ratio and that will ultimately um, simplify this fraction. So um, I'm not going to tell you to do it, I have done it and that would be 3 and I'm not going to show you the answer yet because um, I need to give you the second step which is cancel out well, we've done that, haven't we? so what we need to do next just put everything back to the power form the standard power number thing which is, of course, what you've got on your paper 3ac squared b squared and I know I didn't say the over but you know what I mean so 18 divided by 6 is 3 which is true there's 1a 1a 2c's which is c squared 
6 is gone because it's 1, it's 3 to 1 ratio and there are only b left and there are two b's so b squared so this is all uh, the tips that I come up with for this topic the first tip is to multiply all terms inside a bracket at all time what does that mean is um, people in exams does forget to uh, multiply all terms sometimes they only multiply the first term out of the two which doesn't help uh, because that wouldn't give the full answer uh, it's a good thing I guess they will get some um, step mark but uh, they don't get the answer mark and tip two is do not mix up the positive and negative because it is crucial to uh, the, uh, the correct and mistake of an answer let's say if I want to do negative 2 cubed which uh, smart people should know definitely quickly instantly it's negative 8 but if you forget the negative sign and did just 2 cubed you get positive 8 the difference it's up to 16 because 8 minus negative 8 is 16 so that will just throw off your answer uh, very far so do use the line the line is crucial so I've got four questions right here for uh, round up so you can stop the video and do these questions and in the count of five again I will give out the answers so five four three two one okay these are the answers to the questions um, so hopefully I've got four of them right if you still struggle with this topic please do uh, refer back to uh, uh, the chapter 1.1 and uh, if you're still not sure um, please ask your math teacher and this is Jerry again and I am going to stop the video here and if you do like the video please do leave, leave me a like or comment and do subscribe because that does help and I will see you in the next video chapter uh, 2.3, uh, 1.3 solving linear equations.